will have a plausibility structure. And what that means, there'll be certain, you know, like the theory of gravity or yeah. any any fact. There's something that's around it that could be a, Any strong. fact, there'll be pointers to show that that fact is correct. Yeah. Right? But every theory that is, every every theory that is generally, there are, there are two types of theories. There are theories that have been confirmed and there are theories that are just conjecture. Mm, yeah. Theories that have been confirmed, they will have a plausibility structure. They'll have certain facts that show that what they're saying <coughs> is correct. Yeah. Now, no theory that is fact will have everything accurate. Mm. So, for example, we don't believe evolution is true, but the evolutionists have a plot believe that evolution is true, right? Yeah. And you you can challenge them, and they'll say, yeah, but we've got a. You might be able to hit it here or hit it there, but there's a plausibility structure. It's generally accepted. There are these big facts. Yeah. Now, th it's not true. But that's how they'll answer you. They'll say you're just nearly dealing with the nitty gritty bits, but you're not dealing with the big bits that we've proven. Yeah. Right. But in any scientific theory or in any historical or any form of knowledge, there will always be these big pointers that have been like verified. Yeah. And there'll always be minutiae things that have not been verified. Yeah. So you call it it's true because it's got a plausibility structure. Yeah, I noticed that with evolution, yeah. Do you get that? Yeah. Right. It looks plausible, but when you go when you get deeper into it, it falls apart. Right. So if someone comes to you and says there are historical, there are contradictions within the Gospels, whether this is an atheist yeah. or a thing of me, the first thing you need to say is, well, it doesn't dismantle the plausibility structure. Yeah, I don't... we can show we've shown you all the facts that show he died, and we've shown you that he rose again. So yeah. saying there are these contradictions doesn't in any way attack or shake the facts that we've proved. I would we, ask him to show me the contradictions as well. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah we'll get to that, we'll get yeah, to that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, you, yeah. you, 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 you could say, even if we granted you so-called contradictions, these are minor issues, they don't affect the fact that the four Gospels said he died, yeah. Jesus, uh, Paul said he died, Josephus says he's died. You could talk about contradictions all you want, we have all the evidence there that yeah. proves that one point do you see what I'm getting at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The minimal facts and what we've been the talking about. The minimal facts don't affect your contradictions, don't affect the thing of it. Yeah. On the contradictions as well, um, what's that? I just go there. Just finish this. We'll just finish this. Is that now? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that's the, but, uh, the so the other thing about contradictions uh, to remember is uh, talk about eyewitnesses. That uh, Dale Allison, who was a, who's an expert, who's a skeptic, admits that the eyewitnesses generally get the specifics right. Yeah. They might sorry, they, they they get the big picture right, not not the specifics. Yeah. So again that proves, you know, the big things like they saw him die, they saw him rise, yeah. that's not going to affect the eyewitnesses. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then thirdly you could you can have a few verses where you show that the contradictions are not there. Yeah. Right? So that's the three way to deal with it. Plausibility structure Eyewitnesses get the general big picture, and thirdly, yeah. have a few scriptures where you show that uh, the, the contradictions are not there. So, for example, I think um, they, they try to show contradictions. Um, oh, the other one is like time. Mm. They'll say, what time was Jesus died? But you yeah. just, just talk about the Gospels, use different time. One Gospel, I think, John, one uses Roman time, 
one uses Jewish time. Correct, correct. Yeah. So you've got to uh, just mention things like that. Right? Yeah. But have a, have a few verses where you show um, that there aren't contradictions. Right? But those are the three ways. So, Any final question before we finish? I've got a final thought. Um, Go on. As we've been going through this uh, minimal facts, I would just like to say that when the police take a statement of people regarding a crime, they'll take maybe three or four statements of an event and that will be presented to a jury or a court of law and that will be used as evidence and the jury don't need to have met the perpetrators of the crime or the victim of the crime yeah. all they have to do is look at it put it together and they can build a picture of that and that's accepted today in any court system in the world Yeah, yeah. and we can apply that same criteria to the gospels which a policeman did and he, this is an ex-policeman, it was on YouTube and he came to the conclusion that the Gospels are as solid as anything. Amen, bro. Amen. Well, that's so, the final thought. That? so that's the minimal facts approach to the resurrection con and, and concerning uh, Islam in particular. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Good video, lot. <laughs> there we are.